hello out there welcome to this tutorial on statistics in this video we'll be looking at mean median and mode of grouped data for beginners so we have the table here this is the range of ages and this is the frequency column here we are to calculate the mean to calculate the mean we have the formula as summation of fx over summation of f um, in this column we have f we need two additional columns the columns for x where x is the mid value of the class interval so we create the column for x x represents the mid value of each of the class intervals now we pick the first class interval. What we do here is to add the lower class and the upper class, which is 11 plus 20, then divide by 2. 11 plus 20 is 31. 31 divided by 2 gives 15.5. Therefore, the mid value of 11 to 20 is 15.5. So we are done with that class interval. We go to the next class interval where we have 21 to 30. Again, we add 21 plus 30 divided by 2. 21 plus 30 gives 51. Divide by 2 gives 25.5. Therefore, the mid value for that class interval is 25.5. We are done with this class interval. We go to the next class interval, which is 31 to 40. So we add 31 to 40 and divide the sum by 2. This is 71 divided by 2, which gives 35.5. We have the mid value here to be 35.5. Then we go to the next class interval. That's 41 plus 50 divided by 2 giving 91 divided by 2 gives 45.5 then the mid value here is 45.5 then we go to the next class interval that's 51 to 60 we add 51 to 60 and divide the sum by 2 that is 111 divided by 2 so this gives 55.5 which represent the mid value for the class interval 51 to 60. Then we go to the next class interval, that's 61 to 70. That will give us the sum of 61 and 70. Then we divide by 2. This is 131 divided by 2 gives 65.5. We record the 65.5 as mid value for 61 to 70 then the last class interval here is 71 to 80 then we add 71 plus 80 divide the sum by 2 that is 151 divided by 2 gives 75.5 which represents the mid value for the class interval of 71 to 80. now we go ahead for fx fx means multiplying the frequency by the mid value so we create the column fx then we start from the first class interval the corresponding frequency multiplied by the corresponding mid value which is 3 times 15.5 and that gives 46.5 then the next one is 4 times 25.5 gives 102.0. Then the next one, 7 times 35.5 gives 248.5. So the next one, we have 8 times 45.5, which gives 364.0. And for the next one, 5 times 55.5 gives 277.5. Then we'll go to the next one. 2 times 65.5 gives 131 and finally 
1 times 75.5 gives 75.5. We are going to sum up the column for fx and the column for f. So for our summation rule, we add the frequencies here and that gives 30. Then we add the fx, that is the frequency times the made values. So we have it as 1245. Then we go ahead to substitute into the formula. Submission of fx is 1245 and divided by 30, which is the sum of the frequencies. So from our calculator, we have it as 41.5, which represents the mean of the distribution represented in this table. So we are done with the mean. We go ahead for the median. So we have to calculate the median also. The formula for median is the lower class boundary of the median class plus open bracket, the sum of the frequency divided by two minus the cumulative frequency before median class, everything divided by the frequency of the media class times W, which represents the width of the class interval. And we are going to increase the number of columns for this table. We create column for lower class boundary, create column for cumulative frequency. Thereafter, we find the median class. So let's go with the lower class boundary. Um, to calculate the lower class boundary of the first class interval, we know there is an interval before this. That's going to give us 1 to 10. It is the mid value between the upper class interval and the lower class interval here that is going to give us 10 and 11. So to get the mid value there is to add 10 plus 11 divided by 2 and that will give us 21 divided by 2 which gives 10.5. So the lower class boundary of the first class interval is 10.5. Then we go to the next class interval. So this one is obvious. We pick this which is the upper class interval and here is the lower class interval here so we say 20 plus 21 divided by 2 that is 41 divided by 2 gives 20.5 we record 20.5 as the lower class boundary of this class interval and then we are done with that then we go to the next class so the upper class interval and the lower class interval here that is 30 plus 31 divided by 2, which gives 61 divided by 2. That is 30.5. That is the lower class boundary of the class interval 31 to 40. Then the next class interval, that's 40 and 41. 40 plus 41 divided by 2 gives 81 divided by 2 which is 40.5 and we have it as 40.5 recorded here as the lower class boundary of the interval 41 to 50 then we go to the next class for the next class again we consider this 50 and 51 adding them up and divide by 2 that is 101 divided by 2 gives 50.5 so we have it recorded here. Then the next class interval, that is 61 to 70. So that will be obtained by adding this 60 and 61. Then divide by 2. 60 plus 61 divided by 2 gives 121 divided by 2. And we have it at 60.5. Then for the last class interval, it's going to be the 70 and 71 here, adding them up, divide by 2, that is 141 divided by 2 gives 70.5, and the 
is recorded as the lower class boundary of the last class interval. So we are done. Now we go ahead to create the column for cumulative frequency. So we have that column as cumulative frequency. Um, starting from here, we assume an interval before this, which has a frequency of zero. If it is added to this three, it gives three. Then again, to get the cumulative frequency for this, we add this three and four. Three plus four gives seven. Then again, to the, for the next one, we are adding the seven and the frequency here, which gives 14. Then for the next one, it is this 14 plus eight, which gives 22. Then this 22 again will be added to this to get the cumulative frequency for this interval. Then also to get the next one, it is this 27 plus the two here to give 29. And finally, this 29 plus this one gives the cumulative frequency for the last class interval. Now we now go ahead. We've gotten the column for the lower class boundary. We've gotten the column for cumulative frequency. And uh, we can calculate the class width from the lower class boundary when we get there. And for the frequency of the median class, we need to get the median class first. How to find the median class? We have already summed up the frequencies to be 30. And uh, we now divide this 30 by 2, which is 15. Then we now go to the cumulative frequency and look at the cumulative frequency that is just greater than 15. And the cumulative frequency that is just greater than 15 is 22. So that class interval will form the median class. So it is based on this median class, we'll be getting the lower class boundary, the cumulative frequency before the median class, the frequency of the median class and the class width. So we go ahead to do that. Now the lower class boundary of the median class, the median class is this, the lower class boundary is 40.5, then plus open bracket, and the summation of the frequency is 30, dividing it by 2, we have 15 minus the cumulative frequency before the median class. This is the median class, the cumulative frequency before it is 14. This is because this is because the intervals are given in ascending order of class interval. So as it means it is given in descending order, it is going to be the cumulative frequency after the median class. Because this will now go down, the 14 will be down and the, the 27 will be up. So that is it. Then this is divided by the frequency of the median class, the frequency of the median class is 8. Then multiply by the class width. How do we get the class width from the lower class boundary? So this is 40.5 minus the lower class boundary before it or after it, which will still give us the same value because they are of equal intervals. So that's going to be 40.5 minus 30.5, which gives 10. So multiply by 10. So 40.5 plus, this is 15 minus 14 is 1 over 8. Multiply by 10 will give us 10 over 8. So since we have it as 10 over 8, in decimal, it is going to give us 40.5 plus 1.25 adding them together we have 41.75 so the median age here is 41.75 so we are done with this calculating median then we go ahead to calculate the mode then to calculate the mode here we still need to bring in the formula for mode. 
that is the lower class boundary of the modal class plus open bracket delta one the delta one is the difference between the median class and the class before it if it is arranged in ascending order if it is not you reverse it this is going to be over delta one plus delta two where delta two is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and the class after it we have told you if it is arranged in descending order you reverse the whole process and you can check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to that type of data arranged in descending order now we have already established our lower class boundary which is there and uh, the class which will be obtained from the lower class boundary also what we do now is to get the modal class the modal class is the class with the highest frequency so if you look at this uh, the highest frequency here is 8 so the class interval there is 41 to 50 that is the modal class since we've gotten the modal class so we we'll obtain the lower class boundary from there delta 1 delta 2 and the class width so here we start with delta 1 delta 1 is a positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the class before it that's going to give us 8 minus 7 which gives 1 then for delta 2 it is going to be the positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the class after it so this is it this is the class after it the frequency is 5 so we have it as 8 minus 5 which gives 3 then the class width is still 10 we go ahead to substitute the parameters into the formula so the mode now lower class boundary of the modal class this is 40.5 plus open bracket delta 1 delta 1 has been calculated to be 1 over 1 plus delta 2 which is 3 then multiply by 10 we then go ahead to simplify this is 40.5 we simplify what we have inside the bracket here first that's plus 1 over 4 times 10 giving us 10 over 4 10 over 4 in decimal is 2.5 so we add 2.5 to 40.5 and this is going to give us 43 43 is the mode of the distribution represented in this problem and this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video remember to subscribe to our youtube channel until i come your way again goodbye